Hey guys, it's Twintuitive717 and Mega. We are on to do messages from the Divine Masculines. I'm going to dive right into the reading and I hope that the universe helps to bring clarity for those of you wanting messages from the Divine Masculines, okay? You maybe want to clarify like what it is they're going through. We have the Storm card coming through again. So I feel like a lot of you already know or you can pick up and feel that your masculines are going through tower moments, okay? Maybe unexpected changes as well on the journey. Um, I also too feel with this energy, like if they are going through tower moments, they're being expected to take action, okay? It's like these tower moments are happening in your masculine's life for them to like almost like have the fire lit under their butt to get going on something, okay? And what it is is the soul tie to you. It's getting moving on reunion. Okay, what I'm hearing is a lot of your masculines are coming into the realization that wherever they are at right now, it's not it. They're not happy, okay? Maybe it take it took you coming into this masculine's life for them to see that, um, but that's what's happening. Many of them could be pushing you away right now because they are going through an unexpected storm and unexpected is coming up with storm because i feel like they didn't expect to feel the way that they felt about you they didn't expect for their whole entire world to come crashing down around them but what many of you need to know through this reading or have confirmed is that yes like your presence in this person's life is making a huge difference it's having a huge impact okay wanting to be together is not something that's going to go away it's not a feeling that's going to go away and i'm hearing especially for this divine masculine okay what else are they feeling towards the journey okay so ever since they met you they're finding that they're continuously healing and it's in the area of like inner child healing okay there's something about your energy in their life something about this reunion reunion represents ever since you both met okay that's my union card here soul ties so in a way you've met this person and i feel like you made a contract ahead of time to meet this divine masculine to really guide them through this earth experience okay the unexpected things that are happening on the journey for both of you is like i feel like okay the what i'm hearing from spirit is you both keep asking like why would anyone want to keep us apart or why do delays keep happening where people want to keep us apart because i'm seeing that many many of you have a very special connection to this masculine it's happening for a reason and i feel like what you both are starting to wake up to is like staying focused staying focused on moving towards one another okay can we clarify this okay so we have self-worth and we have expectations okay and i feel like expectations is coming from choice Okay, that's the word I'm hearing is self-worth and, and, and a choice to value yourself and what it is you want to accomplish in this lifetime. I feel like many of your masculines feel like they had a plan, they executed it, they are where they are. But ever since they met you, now all of a sudden that blueprint, that plan that they had for themselves, it seems distorted in some way okay and they're being called to value their self-worth right now like what expectations do you have for yourself in this lifetime okay there's something about this masculine is not being true to themselves in the karmic situation that they're in right now this could also be the same for you whoever's listening maybe your masculine came into your life and it made you take a good look around at what it is you're doing and you also felt yourself changing in ways that you know it made you maybe realign with with the direction the life direction that you wanted to go in maybe many of you as well went through this whole self-worth process and expectations and i feel like a lot of your masculines are going through it now so if many of you want to know where your masculines are at you guys know based on what you've experienced on the journey already they don't feel so good in some of the situations that they're currently in. It could be work, it could be a family situation, it could be a relationship that they're in. It just doesn't feel like themselves. And a big question that keeps coming up on this masculine's journey is, like, am I valuing my self-worth? Am I giving myself everything that I feel like I am worthy of? Because the thing about karmic situations and twin flames is that twin flames come and they help 
each other as a twin flame awaken to some of the karmic patterns that are happening in our lives and our twin that's why our twin flame is a gift and that's why there's so much distorted energy that comes in to make you resent your twin flame it's because the purpose of the twin flame is to make you go into inner child healing it is to help you recognize the toxic patterns that you're in sometimes people or souls or entities they want you to stay locked in to those karmic cycles but when your twin flame enters your life they help you to break those patterns and be the best version of yourself that you can be right now many of you feel like it would be a selfish thing to leave the situation that you're currently in even though you may be experiencing lack of self-worth suffering codependency um, but you are being called to have an open mind when it comes to this twin flame connection, okay? This could also be something that this masculine has come in and they're helping you to either heal or address as your codependence on another person. You're also helping them to do the same because of this reunion and this soul tie with you. That's why self-worth is coming up because when, you, when we have enough self-worth and we can rely on ourselves for survival okay and that's a big thing that ends up coming up on this twin twin flame journey is how much can you survive on your own many of us are starting to realize that we've been in very codependent relationships that's why twin flames come and they interrupt relationships marriages because they're trying to get you to see are you really living in self-worth or are you staying in a relationship or you're staying in a situation ship for example because you're being codependent on another person. It's like you're, you're forfeiting love because you need somebody to pay your bills. That's what your twin flame will often come and, and kind of disrupt or, or interrupt because that's distorted energy. Many of you are being called to value yourself enough to take care of yourself, okay? And we also have release your ex coming up and that that's an amplified message for those of you who are codependent on like another person it could be like an ex-partner and the only reason you are with them is because they could be paying the bills it could be just comfortable without them you wouldn't be able to survive the universe is pushing you to say oh hell yes like you will survive you can you know you can go out there and you can create and you can survive and you will have support so your twin flames end up coming in to kind of push you out of this lack mentality maybe those of you who need a reminder to have expectations and self-worth um, of yourself in this lifetime okay so if many of you have found this reading i feel like you could be very seasoned on the journey already but you're at you're in this place where it's like god i'm so tired of like the pushing and pulling what the hell is the purpose of this right so many of you could be called to release an ex because you could be trying to do this whole twin flame journey on the side while you're still involved with a codependent ex-partner okay or you could be codependent on them you're also being called to have an open mind or keep an open mind and then put a little bit of extra focus into finances and career that's why maybe this codependency energy is coming up because many of us can stay stuck in certain situations because of finances career changes having to make more money having to basically survive on our own right because many of us are trapped in toxic patterns where we feel like in order to survive we need a partner we need to partner up with somebody to survive and I feel like many of your masculines have kind of come into your world to make you realize how resilient you are. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations because they are here not to coddle you, not to make you codependent, but to push you to be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. So that's why I'm telling you guys, be very aware of readings that tend to make you distort that energy and resent or hate your divine masculines yeah there's heartbreak on the journey and you know stay optimistic about your love life okay there's heartbreak on the journey there are definitely things that come into play on this journey that will make you hate your twin flame um, resent them feel like they caused your life to go to shit everything going wrong in your life is because of them stay optimistic about your love life is stay optimistic optimistic about your twin flame because i feel like if many of you take a good look around at how your life has changed or transformed the kind of courage and independence and autonomy you've received since meeting your divine masculine or your divine feminine um, i feel like 
be mindful of that okay be grateful for that because that energy of resenting them could be holding you guys down for moving forward to the next phase your twin flame is not here to get you sometimes a lot of these tarot readers and the community can make can paint a picture as though you know it's like let's just constantly blame all the time right but sometimes we have to take a good look at our actions and what it is we're doing and how it is we're moving on the twin flame journey and uh you know march ahead according to that so i'm gonna wrap up this reading with one more card here how does your divine masculine truly feel about you above the distortion sometimes on the journey okay some of the types of readings that are out there about divine masculines and twin flames i mean me as someone who's genuinely on the journey i can always tell energetically and in, and intuitively um just how much people don't <laughs> just how much entities or other people so don't want people taking this whole twin flame thing seriously it's because it is waking people up we have reconciliation sliding down on the top of my lap okay so this person will continuously return to your life it doesn't matter what these readings say moving on new love moving forward i feel like new love could also represent your masculine shifting into the new love that you desire okay so what i'm saying for some of you is that your masculine is part of this twin flame journey, okay? Because reconciliation is this person from your past will continuously come forward. It's because of the transformation that consistently happens when you two connect, when you separate, when you trigger one another. Um, but it's always going to be them. It's always going to be them, okay? We have playfulness and we have engagement. With engagement, it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So I feel like many of you are starting to understand, even with reunion and soul ties, that it is time for peace or reconciliation or forgiveness with your masculine because they're not the bad guy. They have been here to help you elevate and shift yourself and grow. Um, but I feel like somewhere along the line, you know, many of us have experienced even further delays from connecting with our divine masculines even by like reaching out um nurturing like being caring many of us have become like we've our energy has shrunken okay many of us have been really programmed to fear rejection and to fear the changes you know it's like i feel like right now what's happening and i think someone emailed me about some kind of shift that's happening ast astrologically with the feminine energy something to do with like gaia tree energy um but what i'm getting is like many of the feminines have been distorted into feeling very resentful very jealous very aggressive um, basically trying to steal your femininity away from you everything that your masculine desires and loves and i feel like many of you are starting to realize that and you're getting back into this very beautiful playful nurturing energy that many of your masculines are wanting and craving at this time it's that very beautiful forgiving loving peaceful energy about you now don't mind me saying beautiful peaceful forgiving you guys aren't taking shit from anybody okay you've learned your lessons in this lifetime you know how to draw boundaries but you're not going to let anybody take away from that softness and that femininity within you because it can switch up and be fiery real quick but if it doesn't need to be then many of you are okay being in this very nurturing energy this playful energy and that is exactly what is leading your divine masculines right back to you okay guys so that's what i have for you for this short check-in look at this i can't even ignore this i'm staring at this deck right here <laughs> so many of you could be getting ready for like like to hear an apology um or to experience forgiveness with your masculines how crazy is that let's take what's at the bottom of the deck to help clarify it even further remember an awakening look at that so you guys know i didn't even tamper i didn't even shuffle nothing like that at the top of the deck we had apology and forgiveness many of you will see your divine masculines coming forward and i feel like they have to come forward even more strongly now because there's definitely been an energy of like distortion with the feminine collective where it's like move forward stay away from your masculines like we really have to be careful on this journey and you know remember we're all going through this awakening including this divine masculine but i think the distorted energy that's been seeping into the collective is like 
fuck the masculines even if like they're going through this journey and awakening it's like fuck them like but many of us know what it's like to go through the journey like you we know what it's like as the feminine collective to go through the confusion and the illusions and the karmic energy um, but i feel like if this reading has found you um, it is to let you know that that is all coming to an end so to speak um, this journey is protected i feel like your masculines are stronger than you realize and they will come for you continuously okay so that's what i have for you guys take it easy and i will catch you in the next reading okay bye guys